schedule to make a quick court appearance, walk in these doors next Monday, and walk right back out and head home. That rapist is Tony Simmons, a court-appointed juvenile counselor who's admitted to raping three girls in his custody in the family courthouse. When he walks in these doors next Monday, he's expected to get probation for his crime. If there was ever a criminal who did not deserve probation, it is this predator, Tony Simmons. Every rape is an abuse of power. But these rapes abuse the power that we, the people of New York, gave to Tony Simmons when we gave him a job with the Department of Juvenile Justice. His job was supposed to be to make sure that these vulnerable and troubled young girls got to their court appearance. But instead, he took them to the basement, he took them behind lockers, and he raped and sodomized them. And Judge Sa Sandra, Sandra Mullen, a justice of the New York Supreme Court, is scheduled to give Tony Simmons an outrageous wholesale plea bargain of no jail time for multiple rapes of young girls. David Booker, the spokesman for the New York court system, said we should be happy with this outcome. Happy? No, we are outraged! The National Organization for Women and our 13 fellow co-sponsors, New York City leaders of the war against rape, are here today to stand up and say that letting this predator who abused his taxpayer-funded power walk out of these doors next Monday is a slap in the face to any New Yorker who takes rape seriously. Rape is a real crime, and it should be treated as a real crime. And Tony Simmons should go to jail. Judge Mullen should not give Tony Simmons a get-out-of-jail card. She should let this defendant withdraw his guilty plea and let this case go to trial and let the jurors of New York decide his fate. Woo! Good afternoon, and thank you for being here. There's a principle that we all believe in, and it's a principle of equal justice under the law. But for too many rape victims, the reality is very different. When our public officials decide what to do with a rape case, all too often they are asking two questions.